If you like Linux and free and open source software, chances are you already know a few big names for online services that allow you to de-Google your life. For example, Nextcloud. But there's another actor that you probably never heard about. They're French and they're called Framasoft. So today I wanted to shine a light on what they offer, their mission, and the various tools and services that they either developed or just host for everyone to use. And I also wanted to shine a light on our sponsor. Thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. And you probably already have heard about them. But if you haven't, the only thing you really need to know is that they're your all-in-one solution to create your own website. From the design, the layout, the features, the domain name, or even the logo, Squarespace will let you get started without any technical knowledge. They have plenty of templates you can pick from for any type of site, from a personal portfolio to an online shop, and you can customize all these templates to your liking. They also have a lot of modules you can add to add a video gallery, a member-only space, or even to design your own logo and book your domain name. So if you're looking to create your own website, but you don't want to waste hours figuring out how to do it, head over to squarespace.com slash the Linux experiment or just click the link in the description below and you'll get 10% off your first purchase. So Framasoft is something you probably never heard about. So let's take a look at who exactly they are and what they do. Framasoft is a French non-profit that was founded in 2004 and they're financed by user donations mostly. They employ a dozen people and they have about 30 volunteers to help. And they provide a lot of privacy-focused, free and open source tools that you can use, and maybe some you already use. If you've ever heard of Peertube, or if you're watching this video on Peertube, well, it's been created by Framasoft. And if you never heard about Peertube, it's basically a peer-to-peer -peer YouTube alternative that integrates with other Fediverse applications like Mastodon, and on which you can follow me if you like. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. They have a lot of other projects. They don't necessarily develop all of them themselves, but they offer them freely online for people who can't be bothered to self-host or simply don't know how. The mission is basically to get out of the privacy-invasive ecosystems we are pretty much forced to use nowadays, where user data is exploited for the enrichment of a few companies and individuals, and, of course, that goal goes hand in hand with free software. So let's start with one important project, which is called Chaton, which means kittens in French. Chaton is a collective designed to let users find alternatives to Google's, Apple's, Facebook's and Microsoft's services. It's also a very simple website that lets you search for a specific service, like a VPN, some cloud storage, a note-taking app or more, so you can find a trustworthy service that provides exactly that. So no, it doesn't have anything to do with real kittens, unfortunately. But it's still a pretty cool thing if you want, for example, to replace Gmail, but you never really knew where to start. So for each type of service, they will give you the software they use and the URL to visit it. For example, here for video conferencing, there are tons of servers using Jitsi or Big Blue Button to choose from. And all these servers use open source software. They don't transmit or exploit user data, and they don't use any tracking service or advertising network. All hosters that are part of the collective have to sign a charter to guarantee all of this. And this collective is led by Framasoft, but they don't really have any financial interest in it. So the plan is to actually make sure that at some point, the community will run Chaton and they will just sit back and do something else. Now let's look at a few tools Framasoft offers for productivity. First is Framapad, a lightweight equivalent to Google Docs. It won't give you all the features Google Docs has, but that's not the goal. The goal is to have a collaborative online note-taking tool that will be enough for a lot of users to just work on the outline of a project, a collaborative to-do list, meeting notes or the like. You can create your own notepad for free, although for storage reasons, they're time limited, up to one year. But don't worry, you can export your documents and the expiry date for them is based on the last modification date. So as long as you keep using your notes, they will stay there. 
Notepads can be shared with others for collaborative editing through a simple link. And if you want to password protect your notes, you will have to create an account. But if that's not important to you, it can be used without any login information. And of course, there are no trackers, you control the data, and it's free software. It's actually based on Etherpad, which is licensed under the Apache 2.0 license. So you could even just grab the code and self-host it yourself. The spreadsheet equivalent of Framapad is Framacalc, which is a simple online spreadsheet app you can also access without creating an account. As with Framapad, your spreadsheets will be deleted after a year of inactivity. But as long as you keep using them or modifying them, they will stay there. Framacalc is also collaborative, so multiple users can interact on the same document at the same time. And it supports the basics like document history, cell annotations and formatting, a bunch of functions and basic graphs. And here again, it is not a fully fledged replacement for Google Sheets or Google Docs. That's not the goal. The goal is just to have a simple tool that will let you perform the basic functions that most users need without creating an account and without being tracked. Of course, you can export your documents. And while the interface isn't necessarily the most user friendly ever, it's serviceable enough. It's also free software using the common public attribution license and it's based on EtherCalc. You also have Frama Forms, a Google Forms alternative that lets you create a quick survey and share it with others so they can fill it in. And you also have FramMindMaps, which as its name implies, lets you create mind maps and FramaCart, which lets you create custom maps based on open street maps. These tools are not entirely localized in English, so they might not appeal to you, depending on the languages you're able to speak or read. All other tools I previously talked about are fully available in English. And this will be one of the main drawbacks of Framasoft tools. Not everything they do is fully localized in multiple languages. They're based in France and a lot of stuff is still French only or French and English, but you might not find many other supported languages. Now for organizing your daily life, Framasoft also has a bunch of tools available. The first one is from Agenda, which is nothing less than your own Nextcloud calendar with all its features. You can create your calendars, create events in them, and connect it to any Nextcloud compatible app, including the GNOME or KD online accounts if you want. Now, interestingly, it also gives you access to a full on Nextcloud instance with all the default Nextcloud apps, but you'll only get 15 megabytes of storage so it's only really usable for calendars and a few contacts. This calendar is pretty powerful with support for inviting people, adding attachments, setting a status or location, a description, recurring events and more. If at some point you need an online calendar but you don't want to create an account with any of the big tech companies then this is an easy solution. Next is Frama Date, which lets you create a small poll for a few dates so people can tell you which date and time works best for them. It's basically similar to something like doodle.com, where people can enter their name and say for each date and time if they're available or not. If you're trying to organize a bigger event, you're probably familiar with Facebook events, but Framasoft also has an alternative called Mobilizon which you could also pronounce mobilize on, but mobilizon is a verb in French in the form saying let's mobilize. Now this tool you will need an account to use. You can also browse a few events that have been created on the platform without an account. But once your account is created, you can create your own event, complete with a category, some tags, start and end dates, a location, a description, a website URL, and the ability to make it public or private. So you can still create something that looks cool, people can visit, say if they want to participate in or not, without using Facebook. And thank goodness for that, because I still to this day receive Facebook invitation for events that I only learn about like five months before, because I never log into this thing. Now, if what you want is a simple video conference tool, there's Frama Talk, which will let you create a Jitsi meeting without any account or anything, and invite other people in it. Now, granted the added value compared to just heading over to Jitsi is minimal, but for people who only knew about a few Framasoft services and never knew Jitsi even existed, I guess it makes sense to offer this. For discussion groups, there's Framavox. It will require an account for everyone participating in the group 
and it lets you create conversations, polls, share files, create subgroups, and more. Think of it as a Facebook page cross-bred with a small private forum. It's free of charge and open source, based on Lumio, and it's designed to let people make collaborative decisions online, without necessarily creating a giant meeting room. So here again, if you want the same kind of functionality that Facebook might offer on a Facebook page, but you don't really want to use Facebook because you're not 80 years old, then yeah, this is an option. And if you were looking for something like Slack or Discord, but open source, there's Frama Team, which is based on Mattermost, an almost perfect one-to-one -one clone of Slack using the MIT license. Here again, obviously you will need an account to use it and other people will be able to join your room when you invite them. The login process for this one doesn't seem to be fully localized in English, so this might not appeal to everyone. And of course they have other projects as well. Frama Lists lets you create a mailing list and manage people who subscribe to them, although you'll be limited to 500 subscribers per mailing list and it's not allowed to use it for newsletters. Frama Games will give you a compilation of small games you can play in your browser, like 2048, Sudoku, Solitaire, Tetris, and more. Fra Mindtest is their own Mindtest server, which is an open source Minecraft clone you can download and play solo or on their server, or you could even host your own server if you prefer. And Framasoft also created PeerTube, the peer to peer activity pub enabled alternative to YouTube, which is seeing a lot of development. It lets you create your own instance to host your own videos or just look at what people have created, subscribe to them. It's basically like YouTube. And Framasoft also develops a search engine called Sepia Search, which lets you find videos across Peertube instances. And of course, here is the mandatory plug for my channel on Peertube. The link is in the description below if you want to check it out. It's the same videos, but on another platform. Now, Framasoft's projects are not a full-blown replacement for a proprietary ecosystem like Google's or Microsoft's. For that, you will be better off with something like Nextcloud and Collabora Office, for example. But if you only need a small individual service from time to time, and you want to make sure that your data stays yours, and you don't embark anyone else in creating an account with one of the big tech companies, Framasoft has you covered. All their services are free of charge, open source, they're really privacy friendly, and most of them don't even require you to create an account. And sure, not every single one of their tools is fully translated just yet. And if you want to use a lot of these tools, you'll probably need to create a lot of different accounts. But they still offer a good service. And if you like the tools you're using from Framasoft, you can always turn to self-hosting to have your own instance without any limitations. And of course, if you find yourself using a lot of Framasoft services, you can also support them with a donation, which is their main way of funding. So that's it, Framasoft. It's a relatively big, fast and privacy champion that you probably never really heard about, unless you're French and really, really into de-googling your life. But if you're really, really into Linux, there's our sponsor. If you're a Linux user, chances are that at some point you bought a computer that was meant to run Windows and you installed Linux on it. And chances are you encountered a few hardware-related problems where the drivers were just not being developed for Linux. Well, for your next purchase, know that you don't have to worry about this anymore. Just click the link in the description below and get yourself a computer from Tuxedo. They're based in Germany, but they ship to most countries in the world and they make laptops and desktops that run Linux out of the box. The components inside are all picked to be Linux compatible, which means you can just slap any distro on them and it will run perfectly. They have a big range of devices from the smallest affordable laptops to the biggest higher-end workstations or gaming PCs. All their computers are very customizable and all the laptops are openable, repairable and upgradable. So if you're planning to buy a new PC and you want to run Linux on it, click the link in the description below and get yourself a Tuxedo computer. So thanks everyone for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't hesitate to like, to subscribe, to turn on notifications or to write a comment. And if you didn't, you can always click that dislike button and tell me why in the comments as well. And if you really enjoy the channel, well, there are plenty of links in the description below for LibraPay, PayPal, Patreon, YouTube thanks, YouTube memberships. You know the drill. You pick the one you like if you want. 
So, thanks for watching, and I guess you'll see me in the next one. Bye!